Now, Channel 2 Action News is in California tonight with former gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams tonight. She told us why she is there fighting for Georgia's film industry. Abrams met with studio executives in Los Angeles to encourage them to stay here in Georgia. Many have said that they may rethink their investment here because of the new abortion law. Channel 2's Richard Elliott live with us from Los Angeles. So, Richard, you talked with Abrams right after that meeting. Yeah, we flew here to Los Angeles because, as you said, the film industry does have a big economic impact in Georgia. Just about three hours ago, Stacey Abrams told me that she asked that film industry to stay. It was a really solid meeting. I'm very excited by the energy and the attendance. It was a packed room. I spoke with Stacey Abrams in Los Angeles not long after she says she met behind closed doors with dozens of studio and film executives worried about Georgia's new heartbeat abortion law. Not long after Governor Kemp signed the bill into law last month, companies like Netflix and Disney said they might rethink their investment in Georgia. Abrams says she encouraged them to stay and fight it. My mission is to make certain that these jobs stay in Georgia. That should be everyone's mission. But Georgia GOP Chair David Schaefer doesn't think it's her job at all. In a statement, he said, quote, Stacey Abrams is not the governor, but Hollywood is the perfect place for her to pretend to be one. The film industry counts for, directly and indirectly, about $9 billion in investment and around 90,000 jobs. Before we spoke with Abrams, we met with senior Variety Magazine reporter Matt Donnelly. He's been following this controversy from the Hollywood side for months. He knows the film industry is upset by the new law, but also doesn't think he can just pull up stakes and leave. A lot of what we've covered here at Variety is how the, the deeply laid infrastructure um, the studios have in Georgia is not easily pulled out. It's not um, turning off a switch. So it would be at great expense. Now, Abrams said the executives are very receptive to what she was saying, but no word yet if any of them are thinking about rescinding their statement, talking about rethinking their investments in Georgia. We're live in Los Angeles. Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News, Nightbeat. Now, in the last hour, Stacey Abrams tweeted about her visit to Hollywood, saying, This forced pregnancy bill targets women, but every Georgian's at risk if we lose doctors' jobs and billions. Hashtag stay and fight.